We've seen holographic projection in movies, but never in real life because the tech is not there yet. And the only thing we have is the holographic LED fan. But online, you cannot find a tutorial on how to exactly use those fans to get what you want on your phone. This tutorial will be dedicated to that. The first thing we want to get is the holographic LED fan itself. A quick search online is definitely going to help you with that since I'm not putting any link to the product in my video. The manual is at least 20 meters long so be sure to read all that before you start using the product since the usage is impossible with that manual. Do not get intimidated by the yellow danger card meant to scare you away from the device because it's written with grammatical error. Right at the top you'll find the main device with its frictionless spinning motion. At the back of the device you'll find two holes for fixing the device on the wall. There are two memory sticks looking like fan pad that needs to be connected to the main body to display the image we want the holographic LED pen to display. The connection to the main body is made possible by 10 pins just like we see on any motherboard. The body is mainly made of plastic to prevent electricity to go through. The fan pads are made of motherboard material that I'm not going to discuss here and are carrying the ports for the pins on the main body. The DC adapter is included in the box with a couple of screws and a screwdriver for the purpose of fixing it on a surface. The remote is a pretty basic one with a few comments like on and off switch between images, brightness and inclination. Again, be sure to fix the device on a wall or a wooden plate to prevent it from flying away and causing injuries. All screws needed are provided in the box. The installation of the fan pads is really easy. Align the sockets on the pins and apply a little bit of pressure on it to be sure to secure it down. Then three screws for each pad to secure them on the device. I would recommend mounting on a wooden plate because it does not require any drilling. Now that we are done installing and mounting the device on a wooden plate, we can go ahead, plug in the DC adapter cable and start our testing to be able to properly use this device we need to connect to the device Wi-Fi and install an application on the Apple Store for the iPhones and the Play Store for the Android devices. What you want to do is to scan this code and download the application, the Holo Scope. Once you're done with that, connect to the device wireless internet. So go ahead and go into settings in there, find the wireless internet name and connect to it. Type in the pin provided in the manual to be connected and you are all set. It takes some time to know how to navigate around the application, but once you're used to it, it is super easy to use. You just need to download the sources you want to use for the fan and transfer them right to the device for it to display. Just like on screen, you have a loading screen showing the data moving from your phone to the device. The device is going to have a blue light signal showing that it received the information needed to display images. So this is the point where the experiment gets really tricky. I tried stabilizing this image for my phone to be able to record it, but no matter what I did, I always had choppy images. I tried standing on my chair to record the whole process from a higher point, hoping that it will help with the choppy images, but nothing really changed. I was kind of disappointed at first, but I wanted to try one more image before giving up and that's the DNA image. After loading up the image, I found that, that there were some things that I did not understand about this whole process. The hologram projected out had some kind of inclination to it and the idea just came to me. How could you record something that is less than 10 frames per second with a camera that is at least 25 frames per second. So I started walking around with angles and trying to find the best angle to capture this image without having those choppy blades in the way. And yes, the angles helped a lot, but it did not take away the choppy blades and it did not fix the choppy image. So the idea just came to me, why not try recording through a static screen. What do I mean by static screen? Let's say you open up your phone camera and you go on video. It has a certain frame rate at which it is running. So no matter what you do, you are not going to get a good image. But what if you put the phone in the photo mode and try to record through the photo mode since the photo mode won't have any standard frame rate to it. Maybe that is going to take away this choppy image 
and bring us a normal image that we can actually see. I'm sure there is no such tutorial online because I searched and I mean, I searched for a long time. I did not find a thing, but this is going to help you if you have a holographic LED fan sitting somewhere because you did not know how to record the image that it is projecting. I then asked my wife to help me record the images of this holographic LED fan because I wanted to share with you with me standing in the frame. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I help everybody out there with an holographic LED fan and please be sure to support the channel by commenting, liking, subscribing and sharing. I'll see you next time.